Production. Now that you have massive PET bottles sliced into strips and your filament extruder assembled and working, you can really start producing filament and archipelago's islands. With many sections of bottle cut and them all turned into filament, you can now begin welding those sections together into one long roll. But be careful, any poorly welded joints can lead to printing disaster. As long as your roll of filament is even throughout, you'll have no problems printing piles of islands that you can begin constructing with. Extrude. Before you begin extruding your filament to be printed, you should know that PET, although one of the most commonly recycled plastics, is known to emit respiratory sensitizers, irritants, and carcinogens when heated, which can irritate the eyes and respiratory system and may cause long-term or irreversible effects. As such, be sure to only produce and print filament in a very well-ventilated space and or if the machine has its own filtered fume extractor. On the Archipelago filament extruder, set the thermocontroller's on setting to 220.3 and its off setting to 220.7 degrees Celsius. Once it is heated up, the thermocontroller's relay will turn on and off when it reaches those temperatures, leaving the temperature to fluctuate slightly outside of that temperature range from about 215 to 228 degrees Celsius. But nonetheless, it will produce consistent filament. To begin producing your filament, you'll need to cut the end of your PET strip at a sharp angle so that it gradually tapers to the desired width, and use a pair of pliers to pinch down the last few centimeters of the taper so that it becomes even thinner and more compact. Next, you should be able to thread it through the heat block and the nozzle so that it pokes out the other end and you can draw it out further using your pliers. Once out, pull on it slowly until you can pass it through the two holes in the bobbin. You'll have to do this smoothly, though, because if the filament in the nozzle gets too hot, then the filament will melt and separate, and you will have to start over. With the tip of the filament semi-locked into the bobbin, turn the PWM knob so that the motor starts turning it to your desired speed, which will probably be the fastest it goes. Press the end of the filament against the bobbin until it has gone through a full revolution, and the pressure of the filament can press it down for you. Once the whole PET strip has been made into filament, trim off any sections which are less than 1.75 millimeters. Remove the filament from the bobbin by either removing the arm and two hex nuts so that you can remove the bobbin to unfurl it quickly or unfurl it less quickly by hand. Make more filament. Weld filament. As each bottle will only produce a short length of filament, they must be welded together so that your 3D printer can print a whole or multiple archipelago islands. Insert one of the ends of the filament through a length of silicone tube with an inside diameter of 1.75 millimeters to 1.8 millimeters and position it close to the end of the filament. Hold the tips of both sections of filament about one centimeter over a flame until you see the tips of each become glossy and melt into a spherical blob. Once molten, quickly press the two together, pushing the silicone tube over the connection point while also turning the tube with your fingers for 10 to 15 seconds. Push the tube past the connection point to see how well the two sections of filament have been welded together. Scrape any superfluous material off with a fingernail or sharp blade. Be very careful. And sand with 100 to 260 grit sandpaper if necessary. The transition between the two sections of filament has to be perfectly consistent in order for it to pass through the 3D printer's filament feeder. Slightly too thick and it will jam the machine, while slightly too thin and the feeder will not be able to put enough tension on it to feed it into the hot end. Download the version 3 Archipelago Island STL file for printing on the Archipelago website. Print. Print as many islands as you will need to build a temporary and lightweight architectural structure, which can be assembled, reformatted, and reconstructed at will. The print settings located on the Archipelago website will allow for the PET filament to be printed into islands relatively quickly, depending on the capabilities of the 3D printer.